Wally, you were just so darn adorable. I can't get enough of you. I, uh, oh. Well, hello. I didn't see you there. But please, take a seat and get cozy. I'm Seth King, and tonight, I want to tell you a story as old as time. It's a David and Goliath story, really, with a twist. That twist? Goliath absolutely stomps the out of David's soul on his march to the League of Supremacy. Shall we begin? The Vancouver Titans entered their first season as relative unknowns in the North American Overwatch scene, but had already made waves in Korea as Team Runaway. Runaway had come tantalizingly close to winning it all until their big breakthrough on a fateful August night in 2018. Runaway would capture their first major championship in Korean Contender Season 2, and just two months later, the entire roster would be signed to represent Vancouver in the second season of the Overwatch League. The Vancouver Titans story, though, can really only start one place, and that is with the bombastic brawler himself, Bumper. Bumper sinking in from the back, the shatter comes down! Good night! This guy has been doing this for ages! The Titan star main tank announced himself and the team to the world with his braggadocious interviews and aggressive stylings that would lead Vancouver to a perfect first stage and into the stage one finals versus the mighty San Francisco Shock. What happened next will live on in Overwatch lore as one of the greatest matches ever played. Seven epic maps later, the Titans came out victorious behind a cavalcade of swag, cementing themselves as the league's top team. Super, he's caught out of position, he's down, Buffy, it's a huge earth shatter. They say the North never forgets, and the Vancouver Titans take what was promised to them, your stage one champions. Boastful and brash as ever, these bad boys rolled to another perfect stage, only to face their new nemesis yet again in the stage two finals. I'm not used to seeing this sort of situation here from the Titans, that they are struggling. And this is the first time I've seen them look a little bit worried. This would prove to be their first taste of adversity as the shock rocked them to their cores and handed them their first ever defeat. Renewed and reinvigorated, the Titans rolled on, seemingly near invincible, racking up five wins to start the stage. The Vancouver Titans, ever since they were run away, have been on a winning streak since last summer. They can't keep getting away with it. They will. They're way too good, man. They are way too good at this game called Overwatch. Before the first real cracks started to show in their armor, a loss to the Valiant and subsequent loss in the semifinals of Stage 3 revealed that maybe, just maybe, the Titans weren't the colossal Canucks we made them out to be. The Shanghai Dragons will go to the Stage 3 finals and Bumper doesn't look like he believes it! I don't believe it! What was that?! Then came a new meta which meant one thing, a new path. And as goats died, so did Vancouver's veneer of infallibility, dropping two matches in their last stage. Will Vancouver prove to be the titanic force of nature of old, or was this all just a goat-tinted mirage? A false oasis of Overwatch superiority? Well, if we believe the words of their touter of terror, the Titans certainly don't think so. This has been Seth King and Wallace. Until next time.